Good morning, YouTube. Um, it's about 5.45. I am on my way to... Oh my car. I am on my way to um, the gym to meet... Um, a few of my clients that are competing this weekend, we're going to do some posing. So we're going to be meeting every morning um, this week at 6 a.m. So I'm going to bring you guys along. You can see a little bit of our posing practice and uh, meet my couple of my clients that are competing this weekend not all of them can make it for posing today um but yeah see you guys there perfect whenever you are ready whoever wants to go first okay gym um, I went and did posing which you guys just saw with um, some of my couple clients and posing clients um, not everyone could make it at 6 in the morning um, and some of them are out of town but that's okay um, it was a good good posing session super excited for them um, to compete this weekend and I'm excited to take you guys with me and 
kind of show you a competition and um, how my clients do and everything. Um, so I, it's about it's 10 to 10 now. Um, after posing, I actually did two hours of cardio on the stair climber. Um, and then I was starving when I got home, so I just made my one cup of egg whites with two whole eggs um, and some veggies as well. And I'm just about to take my uh, vitamins for the day. Um, I get questions quite often about vitamin, both vitamins and supplements. Um, I'm not going to go through supplements today. Um, that will be kind of a later video. I um, right now, now that I'm less than two weeks out, I don't take a lot. Like I don't take any supplements. Um, just well, I take glutamine and taurine and stuff just to help with your recovery and uh, whatnot, but uh, things like BCAs and pre-workout and all that stuff, I actually cut it two, re two weeks out. So um, I'm going to take you through kind of like what my vitamin um, regime is because I actually have a lot of people who ask me about it. So um, I never used to be very diligent with um, taking vitamins. I would occasionally take a multivitamin and that was pretty much it. So. Um, the past year I have been really on point with um, taking vitamins and like being in prep for an entire year and uh, being as deficient as I should be from like eating lack of nutrition um, I really I've been sick maybe once in the past year like the odd little thing that maybe comes and goes, but like nothing major at all. Wow, you can tell I'm really tired today. Um, getting up at 5.30, I just, I was up kind of late working again last night. Um, it was really hard to get out of bed this morning now that I'm up and going and I have my coffee and my food and stuff, I feel fine. But um, yeah, I'll kind of take you through um, what vitamins I take, why I take them, um, and when I take them. Um, now, every single person's different. Um, I probably won't take this much when I go more into my um, my off season or my improvement season because I will be eating more, so I'll be getting a lot more nutrients in my diet. Um, I do eat a lot of vegetables, like whether I'm in or out of season. Um, like I kind of have previously mentioned, like I. I'm almost a vegetarian and I might go vegetarian so I do love my veggies and you get a lot of micronutrients so just as much as macros are important your micronutrients are just as important and a lot of people forget about them um, first what I want you to do before thinking about spending all this money on vitamins is to take a look at your diet because that's where you can get everything that you need through your diet um, but sometimes our bodies don't um, digest things properly or they just work differently every single person is different in how their body um, goes through digestion and stuff so um, I have a lot of digestion issues so I get deficient in things a lot easier um, so that's why I'm very diligent on taking my vitamins and I can tell when I get out of the routine I start getting a lot more run down and sick and uh, even my mood changes and everything so um, I'll kind of run you through what I like to do so here's kind of like my main supplements here or vitamins um, potassium um, I usually take this one's maximum strength I usually take two of these once a day so just like in the morning and you can see it's for your focus there for your electrolyte balance why is it not focusing? Um, so potassium and magnesium and your sodium, um, these are all things that um, help with your hydration. They help with um, balancing everything out um, into equilibrium into your body So um, with your liquids. So if you're lacking potassium, if you're lacking magnesium or sodium, um, or if you have too much of one or the other, you're not going to have equilibrium and uh, things are going to be, you'll get things like cramping, um, you might feel more lethargic and less energized, um, muscle fatigue, lots of different things with um, those. So potassium, usually you can get potassium from um, bananas and uh, whatnot. So there's, there's a lot of options 
to get these vitamins, like I said, in your food, but um, I usually, for the amount that I work out and I don't get a lot of sodium in my diet, that I kind of need to supplement with this stuff. So then I also take magnesium twice a day. Um, and you can see supports your bone, muscles, and heart. Um, I also buy Ultra Strength and I take two of these a day. Um, and similar like potassium, it just helps with your bones, your heart, everything. Um, echinacea, I don't take regularly, um, but when I am this close to comp and everything is so, you have so much stress on your body and your immune system is a lot weaker, echinacea is really good for, um, to help you with colds, flus, and whatnot. So I kind of take it as like a preventative. If you take it and you're already sick, it does help a lot. Um, you can see it's just like a traditional herb kind of thing. Um, digestive enzymes. So this is really important for myself because I have such digestion issues. Um, I take those with every meal that I have. So it's going to help my body digest things properly. And I can tell when I'm not taking those regularly. Um, then I have maca here. And this one also has... Um, ginseng in it and you can see um, they're just vegetarian capsules um, and it's for stress relief and enhancing your physical performance so um, it really helps um, your cortisol levels which are very important to keep lower especially if you're trying to lose body fat because if your stress levels are really high your body's just going to hang on to anything it can so that's really helpful. You can get maca in powder form as well. Um, these are multivitamins um, just your, they're very good multivitamins anyways. Um, ashwagandha, I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, and it's for your mood support. A lot of people with, um, depression actually take ashwagandha. But, um, it also helps with your hormones and your metabolism and everything too. So, um, I usually take one of these before bed. Oh, and I usually take two of these once a day. This one, I usually take one pill before bed. Um, I can tell if I get out of the habit of taking this as well. Um, my mood seems a little bit more down and especially when you are in a prep and in a deficit, it's pretty easy to kind of feel more moody and um, sad even um, without even having an explanation for it, so it's helpful. Um, probiotic for myself, for anyone I highly recommend a probiotic. Um, it's very important for your intestinal health and your digestion. Um, really helps with my bloating and uh, just overall um, digesting my food. So um, this one is 30 billion. You can get different ones. So this one's a strong one. Um, and I take coenzyme Q10. This one I take um, once a day. And this one's mostly for your heart. And as I've mentioned, I have um, heart issues so it's really good for your cardio and then it also helps prevent migraines and I also get very bad migraines um, which I'll also kind of talk about in another video. Um, vitamin D. Vitamin D is really really important for your mood and your bones and teeth and everything. Um, vitamin D is what we get from the sun and if you're lacking that, um, which most people are, especially in the winter months, um, it really can help with your mood. It's very important. 5-HTP, um, um, this one promotes your mood and it also helps with your brain function and it can help with your cravings as well. Um, so I usually take this one once a day. Um, go over to CLA. Um, I always take a CLA with every meal that I take. Um, CLA is conjugated linoleic acid, and I kind of, it's not necessarily a fat burner, um, it's dim free. I almost call it like a fat preventer um, because it just helps your body metabolize your food a lot quicker um, than without it. So usually it's good to take with your meals, um, and it just helps your body um, utilize your fats and your carbs a lot quicker. Um, next is milk thistle. Um, milk thistle helps your liver function. Um, <coughs> excuse me. When I'm on very, when you're on a very high protein diet, um, milk, your liver digests your protein, right? So 
it can be hard on your liver so I take this helps make sure that my liver is functioning properly um, then I take a lot of vitamin C like these are 500 milligrams um, yeah I usually take like probably like two to three thousand uh, milligrams a day and that really helps with your immune system and not getting sick. Like I can tell when I get out of the habit of taking vitamin C. And I just have these little um, candies and these are actually all natural. They're not artificially flavored. Um, and then I also take biotin. This is for your hair, skin, and nails. Um, and uh, I just have the little gummies. I'll take two of those a day. And uh, ever since I've been religiously taking biotin, my hair grows so fast and lots of people have been asking me about my skin lately and I swear it's like religiously taking biotin a lot of people are taking collagen now collagen's awesome as well um, and then currently I'm taking water tight water tight is a natural diuretic so it's basically your dandelion root tea uh, dandelion root and uh, basically what it oh this also has your electrolyte complexes too um, to help with the cramping like I had mentioned the potassium and magnesium so essentially I usually start taking this at about two weeks out um, depending where my physique is at and uh, it helps kind of flush all the extra water you have out so I only take this if I'm competing or if I'm prepping for a photo shoot I wouldn't recommend taking it regularly or anything um, as this can have negative effects on you and dehydrate you so it can also do the opposite if you take too much um, this isn't really a or a vitamin but I also drink one to two um, tablespoons of raw organic apple cider vinegar <coughs> excuse me every day um, I usually have just like a shot of this in the morning with my fish oils which I'm all out of I don't have fish oil here but I highly recommend fish oil fish oil is great for your brain function and for inflammation so it's good for your digestion good for your bones and muscles um, recovery um, memory, thinking, all that good stuff. Um, and uh, so I'll usually have a shot of this and the fish oils in the morning. And then in the evening, when I make my um, special tea, which I will show you another time, um, is a shot of this and the fish oil in the tea as well. So that's kind of my um, vitamin stack, I guess you could call it. Um, if you have any questions, or um, anything specific you want me to touch base on, just comment down below. Okay, I'm gonna take my apple cider vinegar. This shit, I warn you, if you've never had it, it's pretty disgusting. I always have a funny face after. So, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions about um, vitamins, there's tons and tons out there. Um, these are just the ones that I take and that my body needs and utilizes so there could be tons that you guys don't need or there might be other ones that you guys need but the ones that I usually um, kind of recommend the most for almost anyone is a really good multivitamin um, fish oils and um, Usually for most women, I would suggest a good digestive enzyme and probiotic um, as we usually have a lot more digestion issues and a harder time um, with that. And then everything else is kind of up to you guys. Um, but those are the ones that I usually recommend. Um, even like vitamin C and D are like pretty important, but uh, yeah. If you have questions like I said just comment down below and let me know what else you'd want me to touch base on. Well oh, it's just 20 after 10 I'm gonna start up some work here. Um, I have quite a bit of programming to do and um, just some stuff with my clients competing this weekend and then also a bunch of editing on the videos too. Um, it takes me super long as I'm still just learning um, and then, uh, after that, we'll see how long I am doing work for. Um, it's still decently early in the day, so I'll, I don't know, might hit up an afternoon workout or maybe go tonight, but we'll see. I'll burn your clothes.
you put your fist through the wall. You make me beg and then I make you cry. Pretend I'm sleeping when you come home late. I know you want it, but I make you. What's going on, guys? Um, it is now 3:51. Um, almost four o'clock. Um. I just spent the entire day on my computer. My brain is fried. I'm feeling pretty tired. I almost took a nap, but I didn't. Um, I've had a few coffees today. Um, and it was my first actually editing. It would be the previous video that I uploaded by the time I put this one up, but um, my first video. And I was just doing it on Windows Media on a trial and it wouldn't let me save, so I ended up, I was like, screw it, I'll just buy it so that I can edit. It wouldn't let me save the video without restarting my computer first to like let everything um, update. And I'm so terrible with technology too, so it was taking me like all day just to edit my first video, and I lost it all. So I just spent like, five hours doing nothing so yeah I'm a little frustrated right now that I just wasted my day pretty much but I mean you live and you learn it nothing I can do about it now um, I'm eating my third meal now today um, pretty much every meal that I eat is the exact same um, I, so every day I'm not gonna show you my meals because right now anyways once I go into my reverse diet I will but um, Morning is my egg concoction that I mentioned, and then every other meal um, is just three ounces of shredded chicken, some um, flavor god seasonings on it, and green beans, and um, sometimes asparagus. And then usually I just put hot mustard on top, sometimes hot sauce. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to eat right now, and then I am going to go straight to the gym and do some shoulders and core, and then I have an hour of cardio left to do. Um, I may or may not film my workout tonight, we will see, um, depending on how busy it is and stuff at the gym. Um, I'm going to go to Good Life South tonight, so it's a lot smaller gym, and in the evening it usually gets pretty busy and like crammed, so hard to film in there um, so we'll see um, yeah and then after my workout I'm gonna go for a tan I don't tan very often but um, it really helps actually with my skin when I am breaking out um, and the last last week I had a lot of um, personal things going on in my life um, and so with that and stress and lack of sleep and everything and my hormones are getting all out of balance being so close to comp. My face has been breaking out like crazy. So, um, and I'm super white. And then this close to comp too, I like to um, get just kind of like a good base tan so that when I do get my spray tan, it it's like nice and even and it blends a lot better than if I'm like a ghost. Um, yeah, so gonna hit up the gym and then tan. And then after that, I'm gonna come back home, shower, and um, eat supper, have my last meal, and I will probably just be doing work all night. So, um, I think I'm gonna just end the vlog here. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, some days, my days are super boring. I just literally work all day, um, and go to the gym. And other days, I have exciting, crazy, busy things going on. Um, so, yeah, um, please like and subscribe to my channel it'll help me um, it'll help boost my channel um, if you have any suggestions any questions anything that you want me to include just comment down below um, and uh, I'll do like a Q&A and a bunch of other stuff too coming forward um, I've been filming a lot of content so I have a lot of videos to upload um, it's just a matter of me having the time to edit and put them together and it's gonna get faster and easier as I go but um, yeah thanks for joining me on my channel and I'll catch you in the next one